Hey everyone, it's USF Chick 85 and let me let the window up a tad bit because I think it may be a little bit too loud. So I want to do a really quick video um, and no, I'm not driving, I'm in the passenger seat. But I want to do a quick video on my Invisalign update. Um, a lot of people have been asking how things are going and my teeth are still straight and doing good. Um, the only issue that I really have, I noticed with this set, is, um, as I mentioned previously, it's supposed to close up the smaller spaces. And when I take the Invisalign out and I actually, like, zoom in and, like, on the mirror, um, or on a, if I'm recording or something and I zoom in on the camera, I can really see the end of the very small spaces in between each tooth. So... I was always under the impression, like all my life, that it is good to have a little bit of spacing because it helps with, with flossing. But it's like you want the teeth to like sit next to each other comfortably without like any issues or whatever. But you don't want them to be too tight to where you can't get in between to floss. But then you don't want it too loose to where, um, or too too much space in between to where um, stuff could just get caught and sit and then your smile doesn't look right and it's just a big mess so um with this set um i'm not feeling that much pain with the shifting but i am noticing that when i eat i am getting more food caught in my teeth than i did prior to starting the invisalign process and a lot of it is actually towards the back um of my mouth and a little bit at the top because remember I used to have a really big gap here so here and then on the sides not so much at the bottom um, but just the top and then the back and um, yeah so I guess over the next couple of months we'll see how much my teeth have progressed and um, you know see what they do next with my next you know few set of sets of aligners so just want to give everybody a update everything is still going peachy and i hope all is well with everyone else love you bye